Welcome back everyone to Astian's Let's Play of Wild Arms Alta Code F on El Tyrish YouTube channel. Where we last left off, we'd encountered Boomerang in Car Dingle, and he had his ass handed to him by the Asmodeuses, Amadeuses, or whatever that Mother summoned. Well, you'd assume they're from Mother because that's what they look like uh, from when we fought her back in Photosphere ages ago. It's probably towards the start of the year. Anyway, what I did off camera is I have gone and done a bit of exploring. So I found three Gimel coins west of Fallen Sanctuary in the sea. I found a duplicator in the sea west of Gemini's corpse. Uh, I have been fighting enemies called Mega Apples on the outer sea, which give you experience proportionate to the amount of damage that you do times 100. So as you can see, my levels are at least 10 higher than when we last recorded, and that's due to this. Um, in one instance, I earned 100,000 experience. Uh, I also found that you can farm duplicators by stealing them from an enemy called Kraken, which you can locate in the outer sea um, around Arctica. I found three Gela cards northwest of Arctica in the ocean. I found a duplicator southeast of Demon Lab in the sea. And I found 5,000 Gela southwest of Demon Lab in the sea. Uh, what we want to do, another thing that I did as well, actually, so we've got six duplicators now. Uh, I did. Yes. Here in Edelhide, there's an enemy called a Rat Monkey, and you have a, a very low chance of doing so, but if you use Jane to steal from it, you can get a PS skill called MP Repair. So what this does is it will increase your MP by one gradually as you walk around. So I've put one on Jack. The other useful thing that it does, I will show you in the town here. So if we go in here and go to the shop, oh, I also went back to Rosetta and used my wind, which is why I've got wind one set now. I used it to circulate the fan in the mayor's house so that I could get the crest graph from his house because I forgot to, to do that when I was off camera, or when I was getting back to here. And I also collected the duplicator that he had. But anyway, what I want to do is you go in here and if we go back to MP repair, look at, oh, also I got a water break four, which is like 100,000 to sell. I think I got that as either a, I think I re, it was a reward from killing an enemy on the outer ocean. But anyway, the MP re repairs are 999,999 gela. So let's sell that. And we are just over a million gela now. What we can now do with this First of all, oh crap, I forgot to start my timer. I was so used to not having an iPhone. And now that I've got it back, I'm like, whoops. Okay. If we go to the mayor's house, is it this one? Yes. First of all, we can donate the remaining funds. How much does he need? Wait, I don't even know how much he needs. Let's just... 386,000. Okay. Whoops, that's not right. 386. Because of you, our... Con or because of your continuous support, we have finally reached our goal of collecting 600,000 Gela from... Naive little wanderers like you. It's all going to go back into his pension fund. Now it is up to us to restore Edelhide. On behalf of the city, I thank you. Please know that you are welcome here anytime you wish to visit. Well, this is Cecilia's city, so that's a bit... Blah, blah, blah. Okay. So they won't say anything else. Um, we do still have money left, don't we? Yes, okay. So now the other thing that we want to do is if we go back to the store. And hopefully they'll be able to use the money to fix up the pavement. And the trees. We want to purchase... Okay, so we want 99 teleport gems. 
some of you probably already know what I'm going to do with this. Some of you do not. And if you do know what I'm going to do with this, don't fret. I'm not actually going to do the dungeon that this will reveal. Uh, because I'm not prepared for it. What we need to do now is head to a... Mm, there's one. An Elu Shrine. And just do a bit of hedge trimming on the forest there while we're at it. Alright. So if we go into the Elu Shrine now and we step on the transporter... I hope it does it. I've been told that this is what happens. This will work. Probably won't, knowing my luck. Is it? It did work. The uh, Elu transporters are now malfunctioning, and this is a result of the. Um, Oh my god, what was the event? In Pandemonium, when the Darkness tier used the satellites to shower the whole world with darkness, this was an after effect of it. But to be able to activate it to make it do that, you do need to have a, uh, or have 99 of, should I say, teleport gems. As it gives you a 100% chance that you'll be teleported to here. Don't go near the South Hill, the site of Waterside View. The gulf called Abyss, the king of a hundred monsters, is imprisoned there. Okay. Oh, there's no door down here. Or is that just an illusion? Ha! How did I guess? Okay. What have we got? Ooh, nice. Yay! Oh, I'm so happy. Wait, let's give that HP 3 to Jane. That's better. I've found I've been using Jane a lot lately. She's quite useful, actually. Okay, so now I believe we are now in the Elu dimension. I think. And it's snowing. That's so weird. Okay. So I believe this is the abyss here. Now we won't go in because I'll probably have my ass kicked. So that is not what we're going to do right now. What I will do is I'll pause the camera and I believe we are about ready to head into Cardingel. Is it Cardingle or Cardingel? But... I think we are... Okay to go in there now. Yeah. So I'll pause the camera and I'll take us back to the entrance to Cardingle. So I'll see you in a sec, guys. Alright guys, welcome back. And before we enter Cardingle, I just wanted to let you know and show you guys how much of the map that we've uncovered. So I've done all of the left and hand left and I've done all the left hand side. So it's all completely done. I've done some of the right hand side too. I think next time I'll do the northern bit. And the southern bit and then we'll be done. But uh, also we have some puzzle boxes that we have to finish. And we need to find actually. So we still have a few. So some of the episodes will be dedicated to doing that after we get through this. So let's head into Cardingle. This is going to be interesting. Although now that I'm level, what, 63 on Rudy, we should be pretty good. Uh, yeah. And we haven't fought the enemies in here yet, so I'm not sure what to expect. Oh, thanks. Moo. Moo to you too. Moo. Actually, I don't think that'll do anything, will it? It's, uh... Oh, I should have used my crest graph. Yeah, it's a slime, so I'm not going to be able to do anything. And it'll separate. You watch. Damn it. I'll find its weakness and then I'll summon. 
because as we may recall, Cecilia, because she has FP advance, can automatically summon now at the start of each battle. Or you can steal an Ice Break 4. Ah, weak to fire. I kind of want to... I kind of want that Ice Break 4. What? They can cast sick. Oh, God. Let's use you. More gold. I'll just have to use some medicine to remove the sickness. When we get the opportunity. I suppose. So how are you guys all going? I hope you're well. I'm fine. I have one assignment left to do, which is due tomorrow. And I only have 500 words left on it. So I have no qualms in... I, have, I feel that I'm going to be able to complete it, basically. I don't think I'll get to the point where I'll be like, oh my god, this is so overwhelming, I can't do it. Like, I'm pretty much almost done with it, so... And it doesn't have to be the best. I only need 10 out of 50 to be able to pass. Okay, that was just those moo blubbery things again. Uh, as these are bombable, let's send handpan. Well, not bombable, they're gonna blow up if I try and open them. But they didn't. Huh. Oh my god, bloody battles. Oh my god, what the fuck is this thing? Fafnil? Can I steal from you? You can attack and you can analyze. Some of the enemies that I found on the world map have been humongous as well, and then they wiped the floor with me. Miss. Well, at least it doesn't counter. That's a good thing. And I think we got the first shot in. We got a preemptive strike. Oh, you can steal a life charger from it. And it drops regeneration. Oh, and you can steal level apples? Are you fucking serious? Okay, the downside is that it heals itself at the end of every turn. Let's try and pilfer again. Wait, what's it weak to? Wind. Well, I guess that's the job for you! Fengalon. Please steal something, he has really good- Yes! Oh, awesome! I believe Life Charger is whenever you defend, you restore 10% of your health. It's a really good PS skill to have, I believe. I think it would be good for Jane. I think she has a set number of bullets as well. So let's give that to Jane quickly while we're out of battle. Put on... Life Charger. Yeah. Awesome. Okay, now let's go in here before we get into another battle. Stairs. Oh no! Oh, what the hell is this? No! Shit, switch. Oh my god, I hate that. I need more um, PS surprise guard. Uh, let's attack, attack, and analyze, I guess. Because we're level 60, I think we might be a bit over level for this place. Blow away. Oh. I found that Jane uses blow away more than Rudy does. Wow, they've got good drop and steal items too. Evil dead. Oh, weak to light. So we'll get to see our light summon again. What's his name? Orge Orgeodes or whatever. Or is that the name of the attack? In any case, let's use it. Flash it? Yeah. Yeah, see, she does. She reloaded. Oh, Jode. It's the name of the attack. Okay. It 
It's interesting that the light and dark summons in this game are both resemble... They both resemble bugs. Like, the dark one resembles the stag beetle. The experience here is shit. Okay, let's keep going. Oh. What's this? I wonder... Did that do anything? I think it turned it blue. This music's from... Oh, it's the boss battle music from the original Wild Arms. What the fuck? What am I supposed to do? Wait. What am I supposed to do with this? Oh. Okay. But I don't understand. I don't understand what I need to do unless... Well... Oh! Well that opened... I don't understand what I did, but it did something. What is this? Seriously, what is it? This teleporter's operation is restricted. Teleporting can't be executed. This teleporter enables teleporting to floor 34 by top floor subspace elevator. Oh, okay. I guess it means when we get to the top, we'll be able to teleport straight back down here. For when we need to leave, because we will be leaving this place once we get to the top. Or once we find something, actually. We're looking for something in particular. And I suppose... I suppose it won't hurt to dismiss the battles because I'm overleveled anyway. Oops. Uh, hand pan? Sonar kit? The sonar kit is a device that reveals the position of items hidden on the field of the world map. However, you need a tool to actually discover them. Oh. Well, that'll be really handy in the Elu dimension. Okay. Was there another thing I have to throw a bomb at? No. Well, let's keep going then. Wait a sec. Let's try that. Alright. Uh, oh, okay. Oh, okay, it's one of these types of puzzles. Okay, that wasn't that hard. Anyway, guys, my time is about to go off, so this has been Astian on Altara's YouTube channel, taking you on a Let's Play of Wild Arms Alter Code F. If you've enjoyed this episode, feel free to like, subscribe, favorite, comment, and or share, as it helps me out immensely. Thanks again, guys. When we return, we will continue going through Car Dingle and see if we can find the subspace elevator that will take us to Maljuke. Once again, guys, thank you, and I will see you in the next episode. Cheers!